Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a Charmander out of Rainbow Loom. This is what it will look like. First of all, you will need 10 normal non-translucent yellow rubber bands like this, 3 translucent or non-translucent red rubber bands, today I'm using non-translucent, and four translucent yellow rubber bands, two blue rubber bands, or black if you don't have blue, gray also works fine, and a bunch of orange rubber bands. The first thing you will do is set up your loom so the arrow is facing towards you. Then take two orange rubber bands, position it like this, then do that again, going down the loom until you've placed four rubber bands. Then go to the center. Do the same thing on the right side of the loom. join to the center. Then just place orange rubber bands completely down the center. Like this. Now take your hook and take your red or blue or gray rubber bands, put it on the hook Twist it once, twice, three times, four times, and then push it down. Do that again. Once, twice, three times, and four times. Then take an orange rubber band Place it on the hook like this and slide the two blue rubber bands on to the hook. Sorry, I have to do that again. Yeah. Place your blue rubber bands on the orange one, like that. You can do it all at one time or one by one, that's how I like to do it. Do that again, the next one. Then Open this off and put it right here. So count from the top right here, three pegs down, so the third peg from the top and place it across there like this. Then. Spread out the two bands that you're using for the eyes so that it looks like this. Then take another two of your orange rubber bands and place it down the left or right, doesn't matter, side of the loom. After you've done that 
six times, you're going to go to the center. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then go to the center of the moon. Do that on the other side. and go to the center. Then, go down the center, placing an orange rubber band, or two orange rubber bands, two non-translucent yellows, and you do that four times, four times, translucent yet non-translucent yellows then take another double orange and put it to the middle like that then take your two last non-translucent yellow rubber bands and place the first one one two three pegs from the top of the loom and place it in a triangle like that and then do that again. One, two, three, four, five pegs down and make another triangle. Now we are going to create the arms and the legs. First for the arms, take two orange rubber bands, place it on the loom at the bottom like this and twist it. And then get another two, put it on top of those, get your hook, get the bottom two, pull it over, get the other bottom two, pull it over. Do that again. Total five times. Two. Three. Four, and five. After you've done that, take a single orange rubber band, not doubling this time, and take the two bottom ones, put it over the single, like normal and then take one side of the single and pull it over with your hook to the other side like that. This is going to be one of your legs. Then remove it from the loom, spread it out like this and put it on a peg at the bottom here. You're going to do exactly the same thing again for the other leg. And then this is your last time doubling. Place two, the bottom two, and pull them over on both sides. Then take your single orange rubber band, place it on the loom, and get your bottom two, and pull them over. Then, doing exactly the same thing that you do last time, 
pull the single rubber band over so it's like this. Then place it on the other side of the limb. Now you have your two legs. Now we're gonna make our arms. We're gonna do exactly the same thing, except we're only gonna double it four times and pull the two rubber bands underneath over and still doing the same thing for the single. Your bottom two. Once. Twice. Three times. And four times. Then take your single orange rubber band, place it on there, and pull the bottom two over. Like that. Then pull the single rubber band to the other peg on the loom, and remove the arm from the loom. Stretch it out a bit, and place it right here. So it should look like that. Now we're going to do the other arm. So again, four times we do it with two orange triple pins. Once. Twice. Three times. And four times. And for the last time, take your single orange rubber band, place it, and bring the bottom two over and then swing that band over to the other peg. Then remove it, stretch it out a bit and place it on the other side right here. Now it should look like this. Now we're going to get an orange rubber band. This is going to be our cap band. We're going to place it on here. Hook there. Turn it once, place it on the loom, get it again, turn it again. And there. So twist it twice and put it on the loom. You can twist it once, that's fine too. Oh, it came off. Sorry. Now, lifting the cap band back, you're going to take those top two, bring them forward, do that again, then bringing this one back, do that again, this back again, bring that up, then bring that back again. Bring those two rubber bands up until you reach here. Then push that down a bit. Now work on your left or right side of your loom. Sometimes with doubles, I like to do it one at a time, but 
you can do whatever works for you. You might want to stretch out this leg a bit and then pull all the rubber bands except for the top or the bottom two back and then grab those bottom two and pull them over and then pull forward. Do that again. 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 And then once more pulling all those bands back and getting these two. Putting them on there. There's going to be a lot of bands on there now, so push it down again. Then do the other side. Put the two rubber bands on there. We'll push this over a bit. Stretch all of them back. For this, you might want to do it one at a time because it gets a little hard with all those rubber bands there. There. Pull up again. Push this down a bit. Put that on there. And then pull all your bands back so your top bottom two. And then put it on there like that. Now it should look like this. Now this is the hard part because you have to pull all these bands back and grab these two. So bringing every single one of these might get a little hard. If you don't succeed the first time, try again. There we go. And then keep going forward from the middle. And bring it to the top. And then do that again. Pull all those bands back. And then get those two bottom there and then keep looming forward on the left or right side whatever you chose to do and then pull that eye band back and then reach in get the bottom bands pull it forward like that push it down now last row that we're gonna loom here get those two And then move forward. Again. And again. And again. Now get any band you want. Orange, it could be any band, it could be pink. I'm going to use orange today. Get your orange rubber band, put your hook in through the loom, push all those rubber bands back, every single one, and then put your hook through the loom like that, get your orange rubber band, put one end on the hook, and grab the other part in your hand, and put, and then bring it up through all those rubber bands. Then get that one, keeping this one there, and pull it so it makes a slip knot like that. Now, you don't pull on your rubber band to take everything off because bands could break. Get it off with your fingers like this. Like that. Yep. Like that. Continue doing that. Yep. It's been good. Now this is your Charmander so far, but we're not done yet. We still have to do the tail. So for the tail, you are 
going to grab an orange band and you're going to put it, turn your Charmander around, you're going to put it through the middle row in between these set two sets of rubber bands right here. So it's going to be in here. You might want to have your your hook to help you. But yeah, push it through. Might take some practice, but here we go. Like this, and like that. Then put it on your finger and so you take your hook, put it on there like that. That's gonna look nice. Then take two orange rubber bands and then slip that on there. I'm gonna do that five times. So that's once. Twice. three times oh. four times and five times there then you're going to take two of your translucent yellow right here and do the same thing you did before. Give your two translucent yellow, put the bands over like that. Now what we're doing here is a little trickier. Take two of your red rubber bands. Oh, by the way, I was mistaken. You need five red rubber bands. I'm sorry about that mistake. So take five red rubber bands instead. Get two more there. There we go. So take one end of your yellow rubber band, put on your finger like this. Take two your red rubber band, slip them through. Should go like that. And then you should take your hook off there. You want your hook in there. Take another two. Yeah. And get two red rubber bands and stick them through there. It might be hard, but I'm sure you'll manage. There, now you have two in there like that. Make sure they don't fall out. That would be bad. Okay, so you have them in there like that. Now you're going to take another two of your translucent yellow. Get them, get your one of your ends of your red rubber band. This part you have to be very careful about doing it. it might take maybe three tries and then you'll put it on your loom like that we did before stick it over but make sure still making sure that's not going to fall off and slide it over like that And then take this again, like this, stick it through the other two rubber bands like that, and then stick it on here like that, like you did before. Now get the other end here, 
go like that. Then take your last red rubber band and pull those two yellow over and put it like that. And then take the red, make a slip knot like we did before. That can be like your little end of fire sticking out. And here is your finished Charmander. I'm gonna poke it out a bit there. It has a nice little tail. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and um, like. Thank you for watching.